been a very tough month for thousands of the country's SASA beneficiaries. A technical glitch, as it's been described, in the post-bank payment system has seen many recipients not receiving their September grant and some receiving only a portion of that grant. Well, the Democratic Alliance is now taking legal action. How is this going to help? Let's find out. I'm joined by the DA's Bridget Masango. Bridget, good morning to you. We'll get to the legal action in just a moment. What's your understanding of a technical glitch? It's unacceptable, but what do you understand it to actually be uh, primarily the problem? Um, good morning, Gareth and, and listeners. I, we as Democratic Alliance um, know that since the start of uh, post office at the time, uh, dispersing grants, there have been a lot of glitches. So we are of the opinion that even the um, the documents that were, were used in, in articles, for example, by the ground up uh, newspaper, is that there is a, a legal action or, or court action that is that is happening in the background, which affects the service provider that is the one that is in charge or responsible for switching on the payments into the um, uh, 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 Bank South Africa, Bank Serve South Africa. And for us, we are saying those things should have been sorted out long before the 5th of September when this glitch affected so many of mm. the beneficiaries of SASA. Uh, basis of your legal action, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, we are taking um, the issue to the uh, South African Human Rights Commission because a uh, Human Rights Commission is a Chapter 9 institution that is there to ensure the observance or, or, and protection of the, of the rights of South Africans. And we are saying so many of those rights have been violated since, um, as I say, a long time ago, but especially it came to a head on the 5th when the older persons did not receive their grants. And we are saying there are a number of constitutional rights that this act or lack of action by the Department of Social Development uh, is, is, is violating, and among which is the right to dignity. There is no dignity in, in older persons uh, traveling to pay points and going back home without getting their grants, the right to life. When they don't have money, they do not have money to buy food and live and so we are saying a number of rights have been violated by this lack of action by the Minister of Social Development and the South African Human Rights Commission is the appropriate uh, chapter 9 institution to ensure that it investigates and that they come up with whatever ruling uh, or, or, or uh, you know uh, ruling that will change the situation for good because mm. we cannot go on like this uh, forever and there is there has been a clear indication that the minister of social development is not taking responsibility she is blaming postbank whom the many beneficiaries of sasa did not apply to they applied to the the, the department of social development through sasa uh, what do you recommend would be the way to move forward here? there's been talk of uh, perhaps a private banking sector to rather take over these sort of payments. Uh, discussion we had last week is uh, those who are, are pro a private bank doing this. There's concerns around bank charges. Is the way to go to get a private bank to rather do this? Well, uh, this is what we are actually advising the, um, the beneficiaries because when you look at the information that came out is that a 40 percent of of all the grant recipients that did not get their grant uh, were the ones that are using a uh, SASA card. So we are saying let the beneficiaries approach other banks to open accounts with them to avoid these uh, repeated um, incidences where they don't get their grant. But we are also calling for the minister to approach the, the, the bank Associ Banking Association of South, Ar South Africa and enter into an arrangement. Uh, we cannot continue to see this happening uh, in perpetuity. Yeah, not at all. And as I start saying goodbye to you, what uh, has also been a big talking point, uh, Bridget, is that of a potential state bank as well. Many said this was a bit of a dry run uh, for how a state bank could look. And this doesn't look particularly good for government, does it? 
No, it does not at all. Uh, if one looks at, at how the, um, the, the, in, the incidences of non-payment of grants has followed from the time that post office was was uh, engaged and 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 uh, 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 you know agreed with to take over the grants that is not the situation is not augering well for even going ahead and pursuing a a um, a, 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 a state bank if this is what the services people mm. will get or not get in fact yeah. yeah let me ask you this as a last question to you sir have you been in touch with the social development minister ahead of this uh, legal action well, we were in the meeting last week on, on Wednesday where we um, really made sure that the minister knows that this is, this is uh, first of all, has not ended. People are still not getting their grants. And also to say that something different needs to be done if this situation is to be resolved. Yes, we, we were in a meeting on Wednesday with the minister. Well, that obviously went well because now we're heading off to court. Uh, DA's Bridget Masango, thank you very much uh, indeed for your time.